Hey, hey, everybody, it's Overkill here with episode 6 of the Total War Attila, Age of Charlemagne, Emirate of Cordoba campaign. So in the last episode, you've seen as we finally united, uh, well, maybe not all of Spain. Um, I guess this kind of counts as Spain, because France is like this, basically, well, whatever. We basically took Spain, all of Spain. Um, so that's awesome. And basically, we're kind of locked in by the Franks now, so I don't know if I really want to start my war with them yet. Uh, maybe I'll sail across and move in. Actually, yeah, that might be a good idea. We might uh, take uh, Sardinia and Corsica and go through Italy. That might be a good idea. And then we could hit the Franks from uh, multiple sides. That would be a pretty cool idea. Um, be sure to let me know down in the comments if that's what you guys want to see. Uh, but we have stuff to deal with now. Um, Brittany. How do they feel about the Franks? They're trading with them. All right. Uh, I'm not sure about these people down here. Who are the Franks friends with? Well, look at that. Uh, they're allied to the Papal States, right? Oh, they're at war with Aquitaine. Yes, yes. We knew that, actually. And then they're at war with the Whittlesey and Westphalia. They're all up here. So we don't really have anything to do with there. Um, before I get too far into this episode, I should have mentioned this earlier already. Um, a gentleman by the name of Sirius P.T., I believe, um, Sirius spelled C-Y-R-I-U-S, commented on one of my former Cordoba episodes, telling me of a mod he created, a, a unit pack mod for all of the factions in Age of Charlemagne. Now, usually I don't take fan-requested mods. Um, actually, <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done it. What am I saying? Um... But I thought, sure, why not? I'll look at it. And he's done an amazing job. So if we go down to a province that actually has an army and a barracks, we can see a couple of the units that he's made. He's made these Bur uh, Saracen warriors. And you can see the artwork looks like it belongs in the game, basically. Um, so these Saracen warriors, I've only got a couple of units. Uh, these Ber I think these Berber infantry, honestly, are um, added in from him. And Saracen warriors, of course. And I think everything else is already in the base game. But there's a lot of units. He's added... Um, 32 units so far. Um, so that's a few for each one, basically. But uh, you can see these Saracen Warriors. They have not very good armor, but they have an excellent uh, charge bonus and a lot of attack and damage and stuff. And these Berber infantry are basically just uh, cheaper swords. So they're on the... It's pr pretty much Berber Warriors are Andalusian infantry, what Berber Levy are to Berber infantry. It's kind of like that, I guess. But um, that's just a couple of units that I, that I could uh, recruit. But uh, if I was to upgrade the barracks here, um, you can see that Umayyad Guardsmen... Or is it Umayyad Nobles? Maybe it's Umayyad Nobles. And Andalusian Crossbowmen, I believe, are new. Uh, please correct me on that. But I'm go I think I'm going to do a video, uh, a spotlight video, so people actually know about this mod, and they can download it, because it does help a lot. Um, of course, H of Charlemagne is a little limited in what each faction can have. It's basically just base spearmen, base swordsmen, and then a little bit of like hero units, basically. So it, it's go it's going to help. And as you can, my, my armies will eventually uh, get these new fancier units, but until then, I will be using the ones that I already have. But yeah, thank you, Sirius PT, for recommending your mod. Um, it should help quite a bit in the campaigns to come. So yeah, now that we have that out of the way, what do we want to get? Let's see. Oh, we don't have any money. That's right. Oh, we have enough to build that. So I'm going to build that. We're going to... Yeah, I think I think we might go for my plan of what I just said. We're going to invade Corsica and Sardinia. But anyway, we've wasted enough time. Let's get into the next turn. So, of course, uh, we're basically just waiting for um, Aquitaine to be wiped out, basically, because they're already being sieged by Brittany, I believe. Which kind of sucks. I would have liked to take it for myself. But at the same time, I could, uh, I could declare war on Brittany anyway and take them out because, well, they're not allied to the Franks at all. Hmm. I could rush an army up there. Or my armies up there, rather. And we could take them out. And then we'd be free to go all along here. Yep, we're doing it. YOLO. Yep, we're doing it. Let's go. No questions asked. Let's do this. Um, I would assume that you're too pissed off for me to leave. Yep, you certainly are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a mosque, because that's all we do. Oh, and next turn we're going to be able to start making... Oh, wait, no. Madraza. What am... 
I need to build the big mosques. What do I need for that? Oh, that is certainly not that. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yes, we're going for this. Yes. All right. Um, so we have some things we can convert here. We have a bunch of money being made. Let's get some more money buildings. Wealth from all buildings. Um, is it these we have to build? Royal Alcazars? Is that one of our thingies? We have to build two Royal Alcazars. Yes. So we might as well get working on that. Um, oh, we can actually build one next turn if we wait. Well, I'll upgrade this, and we will have enough to make one. So that should be pretty cool. Pretty cool? Yeah. That's what. It, that's totally what I meant to say. Um, but you can see we're making a really good amount of money. Uh, if we just keep conquering, that'll just go up, of course. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move my two armies out here. They're going to be like, oh, look, reinforcements are coming from the Umayyads. Or, well, the Cordovans, I guess, but whatever. Um, but no, we're, uh, we're going to betray you. Have fun with that. So I just want to make sure they're not allied with anybody. Nope, just trading with the Franks. And the Franks love me more than they love you. Right? They should. 360. Oh, they actually like you more. But whatever, they're not allied to you, so they can bugger off. Because you're going to die. Oh, I just moved that guy. Whoops. I didn't even notice he was being moved. Oh, well. Asterius, are you just going to keep sailing around? You're going to have to deal with them eventually. I'll just build a fleet near them. Our favor and friendship is rarely expressed. No. Uh, are they going to get wiped out? I kind of want to attack Brittany while they're attacking that settlement. That would be ideal. Oh. No, I'm not helping you. Uh, they, did they take it? Yes, they did. Oh, Franks, what are you doing here? Or did they just sack it? Oh, they sacked it. All right, well, it's mine then. Ready for orders. Declare war. I don't Honor care. Great glory. You guys suck. At your command. Oh, crap. We fight for you, my lord. I'll just take that. Thank you. Occupy. And as for you, my friend, you are dead. Oh, I... Whoops. I could have fought that. Oh, well. Alright. So he has leveled up. Let's see. Oh, put your conning up so your troops are a bit cheaper. Why not? And... Oh, that's... Whatever. Alright. Is that all, my lord? Oh, I should, uh... At your command. Oh. Nah, screw it. Probably lost a lot of men. Yeah, we lost a big chunk. Oh! Oh, no. Who is this? Crap. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that guy died. Oh well, that was a bit of a mistake. Alright, so I wanted to start building this just so I don't forget pretty much. We're going to upgrade this guy. Uh, just upgrade those two things, I guess. Yeah, and of course this place is really mad now. It's not a surprise. Oh, um, yeah, we need to wait, basically. Um, oh, oh, they they control. Yeah, don't worry. Your time will come. Franks. Your time will come. Um, so we're going to go ahead and recruit. Actually, no. We're not going to recruit. We don't have the money for that. Stupid. Oh, I left Al-Rahman back here. That's That sucks. Uh, anything cool happening here? Oh, we have a spot open. And some spots are opening up over here. Uh, I don't think these guys really need to be here anymore. So I'm going to start him on the long journey over here. <laughs> yeah, this place is still happy. Excellent. Oh, this guy needs a, or has some skills. All right. And yeah, now I need a new governor because that guy died. Whoops. Sorry. Is it Gascony? Yes. Sorry about that. Didn't mean for you to die. Oh, it's okay. It still uses the same one. What? I... Thank you. 
There we go. Oh, the Franks better not just attack that place. Oh well, if they did, whatever. I mean, if it really gets des desperate, I could just attack one of the Brittany cities. Pretend, whatever. One of their cities. Let's see what happens from there. Um, so now we have to go ahead and start repairing all this crap. That's so expensive. Oh, gosh. Well. Holy cow. It's so, <laughs> so expensive. That's ridiculous. Get rid of those. Ready for battle. All right. Ah, here we go. We can actually recruit some different units. From here? Yeah. Yeah, that Berber infantry definitely wasn't there before. Interesting. Can we build any more imams? Imams? We can build one more. All right. I'll do that. Feline reflexes. Oh, whatever. Alright. So, yeah, you. You aren't doing anything. I want you to convert the people. Islam is going up quite well. 2.7% per turn. That's what I like to see. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get some new units in this army. Oh, we have some archers, apparently. <clears throat> I didn't really even notice them. Uh, I'll get some swords. Some spears. There you go. That's pretty good. And we'll go ahead and get after them. Uh, what's their strength rating? They're actually... Oh, wow. Apparently they are actually still strong. Very interesting. We're going to have to... Uh, maybe we will have a fight. Alright, so this guy's a governor. Go ahead and upgrade that stuff, I guess. And you are also a governor, so you upgrade the same thing. Perfect. And the turn. Oh, yeah, that army is still traveling. All right. They may be my invasion force against the Sicilians. We'll see. We'll see. Aquitaine, what are you doing? Quimper? I didn't notice that's what that place was called. That's pretty weird. Anyway. Oh. <clears throat> I can't attack them. How sad. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get something here. Let's see. Oh, how's the sanitation? Sanitation's four. 300 wealth is quite a bit. I will definitely take that. Alright, so these guys... Are now ready to march. There's no army here. So I'll just take that just so we can get further into their territory. See what we can do. Their strength rating may be so high because of uh, how much land they have. That might be a thing. Wow, look how much money you get from that. Holy cow, that's a good boost. Um, I'll fix it just so I can repair it or convert it rather. Screw that. Oh, that is a li nice bit of money, though. Hmm. Maybe in Poltiers we'll get, like, a sanitation building or something, whatever. Oh, hello! There's their, there's their army, apparently. Oh, what? Oh, crap. Wait, no. That made this place less happy. That's weird. Um, so we have a mosque here. We don't need that. And we definitely don't need that. Well, from all commerce buildings. That's what most of the money from here is, isn't it? Eh, quite a bit. Yep. Alright, so I mean... How can I serve you? Oh, I, were, you, were you already doing that? Oh, yeah, this army can uh, run up to Bordeaux. There we go. Alright, so this is the fight we're going to have. 
We're going to go ahead and put these guys here. Put up their integrity. So this is a pretty decent army. It should be able to hold off whatever they have. All right. And yeah, these guys are still traveling down to the coast. We're at Barcelona. They'll load up on troops. And uh, they'll invade Corsica and Sardinia. Hopefully. In theory. In theory. That's what they'll do. So let's see if Brittany has the the balls, basically, to attack us. They may not. Who knows? Oh, here they come. Excellent. Alright, so what do they have? A bunch of levy spearmen, archers. Oh, excuse me. American knights. Cool. Alright, uh, let's do this. Prepare to get wrecked, Brittany. It's going to be interesting to see these guys, though. Uh, I haven't heard of this unit before. That must be one of the unique AI units, because, of course... Um, people were a little bit disappointed with how simple some of the units were for the um, actual playable factions, but the uh, the AI did get unique units as well. Can't forget about that, because they did promise 300 unique units. Now, a lot of those unique units are reskins with different names, but but there are unique units to fight, which is nice. But yeah. Oh, apparently I can't see them. All right. So these guys are gonna. Man, this army's been through a lot. Apparently, are these all Andalusian? Oh, excellent. All right, we're gonna create a second line with them. Man, yeah, like that. Perfect. So enemy army, there you are. Let's take a let's take a quick look at these. Um, I still don't know what they are. Armorican knights. Does that say tier three? Holy cow. So they're a heavy skirmish cav. They seem pretty deadly. And then, of course, they have a bunch of uh, spear levies and swordsmen and stuff. Guard Cav. Oh, that's the same thing as the Franks. All right. Archers, levy archers. All right. This shouldn't be too bad. Let's, uh, let's do this. So they attacked me, so they're going to be coming here. So that means, basically... Uh, I can just line up a bit further. And my, my slinger should be able to actually kill most of their um, skirmish units. So that's not actually much... There's not, eh, there's not actually much to worry about. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave two units to re be reinforcers, or like fill in the gaps, stuff like that. And then I'm going to get two units on each side to flank. These three units of cav are going to go over here. General, eh, you can chill there for now. Alright, so, well, I say that, but they have th five units of skirmishers, I have three. So now that I think about it, um, I wouldn't really win in a skirmish, head-on skirmish fight. Uh, actually, I think slingers are a lot better than archers, though, so we'll see. I know I have more range, or at least I'm pretty sure I have more range. Um, they don't have any melee cav other than their general, so I think it's safe to just charge ahead. Oh, I didn't think about this. They might, uh, they might, those skirmishers might charge after my guys, start firing at them. But anyway. I'm going to try to shoot at these guys. Oh, yeah, here they come. Get out of here. Oh wow, look how many they killed that quickly. That's not good. Alright, chase after them. I'm going to get these cav up behind them. And we're going to see what we can do here. Oh. Slingers. Run. Alright, well we caught one unit. And we might actually catch the other ones as well. Who knows? All right, so these guys are going to get a little wrecked, it seems, which isn't good. But uh, we actually did manage to catch both of their skirmish units over here. All right, so that's good. 
So these guys can start shooting at them. And those guys will be able to in a moment. Um, so they've actually engaged all of their infantry very foolishly um, right there. So I can actually go ahead and just charge them all in. All right. So we actually didn't manage to break these guys, surprisingly. Wow. They just absolutely flattened my guys. Which sucks quite a bit. But uh, we did ultimately uh, overcome that. So these guys should be fine to go ahead and chase people to their dream, to their wildest content. Wild, I don't know. What am I saying? Who knows? No one knows what I say, ever. Even I don't know what I'm talking about. Look at these buggers. Those guys are tough. But they're a heavy spear unit. Or heavy skirmish cav. So whatever. Lots of health. Regardless of if, if it's a skirmish cav or not. It still has a lot of health. So. Yep. Those guys are broken. We're just going to keep chasing their, uh, their skirmishers basically. Right, these guys can start flanking around. Oh, wow. Wow. Those guys are crazy. Holy cow. I can't believe they actually managed to uh, break some of my infantry. Those guys are crazy. Interesting. Oh. Run away. Okay, we're gonna have to do some rear charging with our uh, with our general here. It seems. Jeez, this is going rough. Wow, these guys are crazy against infantry. No, like to be fair, my Andalusian infantry isn't great. But good lord, they did really good. These guys are getting destroyed up here. It seems. Oh, hello. You two are still trying to kill some archers? Alright. Oh, keep running. Keep running for the love of God. Oh, crap. Slingers. new. No. Not the slingers. Oh, the humanity. Yeah, keep chasing them. Alright, these guys are kind of overcoming against them. Uh, if these guys go charge the enemy general, that should be enough to kill him. I'm go ahead and get these guys to shoot at them. Now, I'm being very risky with my general right now. Um, if we don't win this battle, like, right now, he might die. All right, there goes the enemy general. They're all wavering now. All right, never mind. There we go. That's better. All right, so victory. Victory is ours. All right, so how many men did we lose? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, like 800. That kind of sucks, but whatever. This is, your day. this is my day. So it's probably going to be like a close victory. Not Pyrrhic, no. Wouldn't be Pyrrhic. It's definitely not good, though. Definitely was not a great battle. So I'm going to go ahead and try to kill as many of these guys as I can so that we don't have uh, to deal with auto-resolving that much. So there we go. That's a bunch of them gone. Jeez, I can't even... I, I, I can't... I, all right. Uh, there's 34 in that unit. How many here? 40. All right. Um, they chase them down pretty good. Oh, no. A big unit of 50 is going to get away. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's end it. Close victory. I'll take that. They lost 1,633. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Ah, well, we didn't manage to destroy them, but uh, they only survived with like three crappy units. So, whatever. And we're going to replenish 15%. <laughs> Our integrity is actually going down from how many men we lost, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so he died. That's good. We got a bad omen. No. The public order. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these guys, because they suck. 
get out of my new land, even though it used to be yours. Decisive victory. Excellent. So the borders are safe for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and convert that. And we're going to go ahead and convert. What are we going to convert to? Is this agriculture? Yeah, it is. More money. Please and thank you. So how fertile are all these lands? Let's check. Uh, fertility. Oh. This place isn't even that fertile. And it's giving us that money, that much money? Was I looking at the right thing? No, that's food. Fertility. There we go. That was kind of dumb. Yeah, all these lands are very fertile. That's good. So, Al-Rahman, uh, I kind of want you to lead the attack into Poltier. That would be nice. Uh, where are these dudes? Um, they're actually close enough that I believe they could start recruiting now? Uh, they could recruit a little bit. Uh, honestly, we don't need these anymore, so I'm just going to get rid of them. And we're just going to get a bunch of spears. There we go. Seven units of uh, Berber warriors should be pretty good. Those units have been working pretty well for me, so I think I think it's worth uh, keeping them around. And yeah, so this guy... Oh, no, never mind. You've been activated again. All right, all right, all right. Won't move you. Or is this Al-Rahman? No, that's Suleiman. All right, so Al-Rahman is there. Never mind. I'm just stupid. Uh, so we're going to end another turn. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what's up with everybody. Alright, this guy ranked up. Oh, sorry, I wasn't talking then. That was I was looking at a text. Um, yeah, rank A, and we just leveled him up. Yep, so you're going to occupy Tarragona. And you're gonna. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, whoops. I didn't, uh, I didn't upgrade this. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit then. Uh, is there anything we can get, though, while we wait? I think the slingers would be worth getting. We'll get a couple of them. And, uh. We don't really need any of the other units. No. We'll just wait. We'll wait it out. Um, so basically, this is kind of a chance to actually build up some money. Don't get much from that. Um, yeah, whatever. I mean, we could, and I mean could, Ready for battle. go ahead Ready for orders. and attack Poltier. Poltiers, whatever it's called. We could march on it. Or we, we'll wait for next turn. Uh, I don't think we'll take attrition. Are we going to take attrition going out here? Advance. Hmm? Nope. All right, so maybe we will attack Poltier. Uh, what strength rating are they at now? Oh, they only dropped one. That's not too bad. Yeah, we're going to attack Poltier. Uh, actually, no, there's no L in that. I thought it was Poltiers, but it's like Poitier. Poitiers, whatever. All right, well, we're going to besiege that. They're going to start taking attrition next turn. Yep, next turn. All right, cool. And yeah, like I said, we're building up this army so that they can... Uh... Oh, Valencia. Oh, if I march down just a little bit, I could actually save myself some trouble. Right. Alright, so I don't need to upgrade that. Save some money. Start recruiting right away. I really want to get some of these Saracen Warriors. I'm going to get two of them. Um, whoever ha Who has the most melee defense? These guys. And then I'll get a bunch of them. I want to try these Saracen Warriors uh, from that new mod. Again, thank you for sending me that, by the way, uh, Sirius. I, think, I, I assume that's how it's pronounced. I'm sorry if it's not. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we'll end one more turn. Oh. Uh, well, just in case. And what else was there? Someone needs to level up. A governor. All right. You go ahead and take those ability thingies. And we will continue our conquest of Europe. Ever so slightly avoiding Charlemagne <laughs> for as long as we can. 
but yeah, this is a big, this is a lot of land to take, um, which is good. We're pr we're literally gonna have uh, the Franks surrounded pretty much. So um, we could just take that. Honestly, I think I'm gonna wait a turn, one more turn rather. And yeah, now these guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in Valencia so they they can sail out as soon as possible. And yeah, what else do we need? We have a bunch of infantry. We pretty much have all the infantry we ever need. Um, let's get some Andalusian cavalry and some slingers. And that's actually our full, ar our full army. Perfect. All right. That should be good. So uh, do you take attrition? I think you take attrition in the ocean in this if you don't have a ship. So I don't really think I can get that many good ships either, which is a bit of a problem. Um, these guys are all riders. No, that's an army. Um, let's raise a fleet. Let's try it. Yeah, I can only get one type of ship. What is it? A medium melee ship. Alright, well that's not too bad. 134 upkeep could be worse. But yeah, uh, we also have two things that we can open up here. My goodness. Uh, the squalor is not good here. We're gonna have to get some anti squalor or some sanitation buildings. There we go. That's pretty good. And then we'll save the rest of our money. All right. Well, in one more turn, we'll take uh, Poitier. I'm always gonna say pull. Don't know why. Uh, we're gonna take Poitiers and start shipping out our little fleet. Or would that be a bit risky? Probably be too risky, honestly, with only f like four ships. Uh, are we still at war with Sicily? If we're still at war with Sicily, it might be a bit too risky. If we're not at war with them, though, no problem. I think we are still at war with them, though. <laughs> after all of that, uh, after all this time since we took that. I'm actually going to check that. Oh, we're not. They really don't like us, but we're not at war with them anymore. Unknown. What? Who could own that? I thought Sicily owned it. That owned this. Owned it. Yeah. Don't tell me the Lombards or someone took that. I'll be very upset. All right, but that means we're safe to uh, sail out. So. Fleet reporting, my lord. All right. Yes, my lord. So these guys are gonna start sailing for Corsica. Oh, it's not that far. It'll take like a long time, but it's not like super far. Just good. And, of course, before we end the episode, we're going to take this. Excellent. So we lost 214 men. That's not too bad. Going to get a good replenishment rate anyway. And, yeah, there we go. So that's going to give us a lot of money and food. So we're going to go ahead and repair that. And we're going to tear down the, all these buildings and convert that. So there we go. Um, did we go ahead and get this place after? Oh, I don't think we did. Oh, yes, we did. All right, cool. So um, if we save some money, we can get another one, and then we'll have that little side mission done, which would be excellent. But uh, anyway, guys, this is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying the series, make sure you're subscribed, because it's going to be coming out every few days. This has been Overkill, as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>